Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. Uh, in this video, I will discuss uh, some problems of DFA. That is to design a DFA for three languages I have. The first language is uh, mod of W is equal to 2. That is uh, W here is a string and uh, it is uh, this string is made up of AB. That is sigma is AB in this case. So we have mod of W means the length of the string. Okay, that the length of the string should be 2. That is exactly 2. And we have to design a DFA for all the strings in which the length of the string is at least 2. And the third one is the mod of W that is the length of the strings should be at most 2. Okay, So we should design 3 DFAs for this. So let's discuss the first one. So the first one is it is saying that we have to design a DFA for all the strings of AB having length of exactly 2. Okay. So, uh, in this case, we have uh, sigma is equal to AB. So, if sigma is equal to AB, then the strings that we have will be AA, that is of 2 length, then AB, that is again of 2 length, then BA, that is of 2 length, then BB, that is again of 2 length. Okay. So, we should design a DFA that should accept all these four strings. So let's start doing the first one that is the length of the string will be exactly 2 in this case. Okay. So let's start from some initial state say Q0 and at Q0 A comma B go to Q1 then again A comma B go to Q2 and make it as final. Now if you see this one at Q0 at this point the length of the string will be 0. Right now, there is no input alphabet applied on this Q0. So, the length uh, at this point will be 0 only. Now, if I come from Q0 to Q1, at this point, the length of the string that is done till this point will be 1 only. That is, either I will come with A move or I will come with B move. So, I will get the string at this point, the length of the string will be only 1 till this point. Now, if I come to this point, that is from Q0 to Q1, I'll come with A or B. From Q1 to Q2, I'll come with A or B. So at this point, the length of the string will be 2. Okay. So that is the uh, DFA for the length exactly 2. Now, now, I told you that in a DFA, the main condition is for every input alphabet, we should have, we, we should have exactly one path. Okay. That is, I have two input alphabets A and B. So, with every state, I should have one path for A and one path for B. So, at Q0, I have one path for A, one path for B. At Q1, I have one path for A, one path for B. At Q2, I don't have any path. Okay. So, I should have one path for A, one path for B also. So, I'll take one path for A and B also. And I'll go to one state Q3 but I will not make it final. Okay. Now, at this point, the length of the string accepted will be 3 and I don't want 3 st length string in this case. So, I am not making this Q3 as the final one. Okay. So, uh, suppose I give you a string as AA, that is the length is exactly 2. So, is it accepted by this machine? So, I will start from initial state and go to Q2. If at Q2, this AA is accepted, then we say that this language is accepted by this machine. So, I will start with Q0. So, at Q0, input alphabet A is applied. So, where I am going? At A, I am going on Q1. So, the control is at Q1 now. Now, at Q1, the input applied is again A. So, where I am going? At Q1, A is applied. Where I am going? I am going on to Q2. So, Q2 is a final state. Therefore, this AA string is accepted by this machine. Okay. Similarly, if I give you triple A and I ask you whether this string is accepted by this machine or not. So, let's check it out. So, initially the read uh, this control will be on first day. So, initial state is Q0. So, at Q0 input alphabet A is applied. Where I am going? Q0 A I am going on to Q1. So, I will get Q1 here. Now, next state is Q1. At Q1, now this time the control is on next state. Now, at Q1, if A is applied, at Q1, A is applied, I am going on to state Q2, done. Now, at state Q2, now this this, this uh, um, control will be on the next state. Now, at Q2 again, input A is applied. Where I am going? Q2 with A, I am going on to 
Q3 and this Q3 is not the final state therefore is this triple A is not accepted by this machine. So this Q3 is called as a dead state and uh, from which I will not be able to go on to the final state. But since this is the mandatory requirement of the DFA that from every state I should have exactly one path for every input alphabet therefore I have to do this. Okay, so this is a DFA which will accept all the strings having length exactly 2. Okay, so this is your first case. Now the second one is, second one is the length of W will be at least 2. That is it should accept all the strings which have the length at least 2. It would accept the strings of having of length 3 also, of length 4 also, length 5 also, length 6 also. All these strings should be accepted but it should not accept any string having a length of only 1 or 0. Okay, So let us start doing this one. The second one is I will start with some initial state Q0. Okay? Now at Q0 input A or B is applied because the string can start with A also, the string can start with B also. That is why I am taking two paths for the same uh, on the same transition. I okay? will go on to state Q1. Okay? Now what I need? I need at least two. Fine. So again A comma B, I will go on to state Q2 that will be your final state and at this point, I will apply a self loop of A comma B. Now, what does that mean? I start with A or I start with B. I will go on to Q1 and from Q1 to Q2, Q2 I can go to I go with either A or B and at Q2, I have self loop of A or B. Okay. So, till this point, the length of the string will be 0. Okay. And this is not the final. So, this is not going to accept then at this point the length of the string will be 1 and this is not the final state therefore this one length string is also not accepted. At this point the length of the string will be 2. Okay? So if it is 2 since this is the final state therefore 2 length string is accepted. Now after 2 I am getting loop that is a infinite loop fine. So I can have any any combination of a and b here. So I will write 2 or more here. Okay. Now suppose I give you a string as a b b a okay. and I ask you whether this string is accepted by this machine or not. So let us start doing this. So initially the control is on the first day okay. and the state is q0. So at q0 input alphabet a is applied. So at q0 a is applied I am going on to state q1. Okay, and the control moves on to this B now. Now at Q1 input applied is B and at, at Q1 B is applied where I am going. I am going on to state Q2 and this will move on to next B. Okay, now again Q2 input applied is B. So at Q2 input applied is B where I am going. I am going on to state Q2 okay now and this will move on to the next B so and again this Q2 input is B so at Q2 B where I am going I am going on to Q2 only okay again now this will move on to the next day the last day so the input the state is Q2 again and the input applied is A and where I am going with Q2 A I am going on to Q2 and this Q2 is your final state therefore this string is accepted by this finite automata and the sequence of uh, states while performing this computation is Q0, Q1, Q2, 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 Q2. Okay? So this will be the sequence of states that is found while accepting this string into this machine. So this is your second case that is the DFA for accepting the strings the strings having length of at least 2 okay now the last one the third case that is the dfa for all the strings having length at most 2 
okay so it should not accept any string that is having a length of 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 but it can accept a string having length of 0 also having length of 1 also having length of 2 also but not more than that okay so let's start doing this one so i'll start with state q naught okay since it is saying at most 2 so 0 is also included in at most 2 therefore i'll make this also as the final state so at this point the zero length string is accepted then a comma b that is the length string can start with a also the string can start with b also therefore i'll move on to state q1 okay now at q1 again since i need the string of length one also should be accepted so i'll make this one also as the final so this one will accept at this point all the strings of exactly one length will also be accepted and i'll go on to state q2 with a comma b and i'll again make this also as the final okay now at this q2 also uh, the strings of length 2 will be accepted at this uh, point q1 the strings of length 1 will be accepted at this point q0 the, the strings of length 0 will be accepted okay now at q2 i should give one path for a and one path for b also but that should not be accepted by this dfa so what i'll do I'll simply go on to state say q3 with a comma b and here I'll apply a comma b and similarly in this also I forgot to apply that is here also I have to add a comma b that is every state should have exactly one path for every input alphabet so here i'm having one path for a one path for b here also i'm having one path for a one path for b and since this is not your final state therefore any string that is having the length of more than two will not be accepted by this dfa fine so this is your three dfas one for length exactly two one for length at least two one for length at most two so that is all thank you so much